Hey guys, my name is Lily and today I want to sleep in the forest again. So this is a tent that I've gotten from the company hottent.com. So this here is a Russian tent which is especially made for winter time. It has three layers so it should insulate very well. And before I set up the tent I first want to lay out the floor. This is an add-on that you can get and this is especially for winter time because of course the the floor is very cold, so you want to make sure that you have some insulation from the cold ground. All right, so if you're interested in this tent, make sure that you check out the link in the description below. And now let's set up the tent. Okay, so Amy is just burying her bone. <laughs> it's so funny. Good dog. I want to show you that the floor has a, a slot here and you can put the end of your pole into the slot. Okay. So it's the same thing. Every corner can go into the slot. And here we have a white brim, which is pretty awesome because it will keep off the snow and the water from going underneath the tent. So that's pretty cool. And here we have a small exhaust vent. This is important so that you don't suffocate yourself. Okay, you have to leave this open when you are using the stove. All right, so now let's pack down the tent. Okay, here we have a couple of organizers and you can attach these organizers to the velcro inside of here and then you have a little bit of an organizer going on where you can put your phone in or your power bank or flashlights or whatever so I think that's pretty cool and the tent pole here can be removed by just screwing it out that's it and now it's not in the way anymore Good girl. Now it's time to move in. The same company also sent me their camping chair. Let's check it out. Nice. That's nice. Awesome. Wow. That's a really awesome chair. And the chair has side pockets too for your phone or something else. That's awesome. So you don't have to sit on the floor like a caveman. <laughs> Finally, I'm set. And I have everything inside of the tent, the stove, the camping chair. And this is going to be my bed for tonight. Amy is going to sleep here. And I'm going to sleep on the sheep fur. I also do have a wool blanket and a really warm down sleeping bag 
this is my pillow and here I have my small stuff and today I want to cook something up I have my old canteen cup here all right so I'm set for the night the only thing that I need is firewood and for the small stove here you need a pretty small sized fuel and I have absolutely no firewood so I have to make all of the firewood that I need for the night I can try it out if I let it sit on top of the oven. Well, if Amy keeps stealing my firewood, then maybe we don't get a fire today. Oh. Okay, look at this one here. This is a huge branch which has fallen down from this tree. Okay, this is beech. It's one of the best firewoods that you can get and maybe I can salvage a little bit of firewood from this piece because it's really dry. This here is almost bone dry. Also at the outside I've attached Amy's leash and I've attached it to the tent and pulled it away so that the wool comes away from the stove here. So that's pretty much the only loop that I'm using today. Um, today it's pretty calm so you could you know use more loops and attach the tent to the ground but I don't think it's necessary because today it's very calm. We don't have any wind and I think I will be fine like this. Bon appétit, my friends. Mm. So good. It's a little bit dark in here, so I'm going to... Okay, I just switched on my flashlight because in here it's a little bit dark, even when it's daylight at the outside. So it's really nice when you have a light inside here. So this is how I clean off my pot. When you're making eggs, you always have this egg residue on the bottom of the pot and then it's burning and it's really hard to clean. 
So I just poured some water into the pot and now I'm boiling it and this should remove all of the residue from the egg. Oh my god, you're cold, Amy. Why don't you go inside, hmm? Go inside. Go inside, Pippi. Okay, so Amy wouldn't come in and now I have brought her bed to the outside and I covered her with the artificial fur to make sure that she's not getting cold. Okay, you're a chicken. You're a chicken. Pippi. <laughs> I call her Pippi. Because she is one. Pippi. Okay, now it's getting really dark. It's the end of the golden hour. Beautiful. I'm amazed how efficient the stove is. It will run the whole night with the log that I cut down today. Now it's time for some good organic meat. This is some organic pork, 350 grams, and it costs 6 euros 63 cents. Just so you know how much the organic meat is in Europe, which is really expensive. Okay, the fire is going pretty strong and I had to add some water to the pot because otherwise my meat would have gotten stuck to the pot too much. And now I just will boil it and then when the water is gone, it's done. Dinner is ready. Bon appétit. Okay, it's time to go to bed and I'm already in my sleeping bag here. Amy is beside me and pretty soon I'm going to close down the door and then we should have a really nice sleep. Good morning, good morning. Hmm? Uh, Eww, good, can it be the morning? Amy, what are you doing? Super. <laughs> Yo, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So the stove was working really well and very efficient. I didn't have any smoke inside of the tent. I just realized that I forgot putting this white thing underneath the stove. 
but I don't think I have damage the tent so let's check out the ground here the floor nah everything's fine so there's absolutely no damage to the tent next time I'm definitely going to use the white thing here uh, yesterday I was in a hurry and I forgot to take this out and here you have some side panels so this is protecting the stove while in transport and also you can leave the panels on while in use So this is it for today. I really want to thank you for watching and make sure that you check out the links in the description below. Stay tuned till next time.